Hey, Royals fans, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boyd. This is a great game, a great reaction to a great 2-1 to one win that our Reading Royals kept the Norfolk Admirals on the outside the entire time, even on the goal that they were able to score. It was from an outside shot by Schaus there, is I believe how you pronounce his name. He was able to fire one where Hawkey was screened, and he was not able to see it on a, just a very nicely played shot on a screen on still a nice defensive play. They were just able to get a goal. The Royals, though, as you see the great ice behind them, were able to, before going on a road trip, get a very key pivotal win to capture three of six points from the weekend series, where realistically they only played a bad about six to eight minutes um, the whole weekend, but it cost them on Friday. And then on Saturday they won a, or they lost a game that they really should have won because they outplayed the Growlers and they carried that momentum and that poise into tonight's game or into today's game and played even a much better game the most complete game potentially even of the season, keeping the Admirals outside and at bay the entire game. They were, they honestly, the Admirals, they did not bring what you would expect from a team that was off. I believe the last game they played was Wednesday. Of course, a Royal played three in a row. It was mighty impressive, and that's how I titled um, my article that's going to be coming out on Flies and the Gritty. That's going to be the article version of the recap, but it was mighty impressive how this team played. Jackson Cressy was flying out there. He, of course, got unlucky on a couple plays, and then also got stopped um, as well on others. So he was very good and very lively tonight. And then Peyton Pritchard was electric in as well, as we hear the horn go off once in the background there. And um, he was very good, Peyton Pritchard. And then you also have Hawkey, Hayden Hawkey, um, coming out of, of course, Providence College. In his first game for the Reading Royals, really stepping up, and Kirk McDonald talked about in the post game how in this league you can't really have backup goalies. You got to have a bunch of guys that you know are just going to be ready to go, and he clearly was ready to go and played a fantastic game. Um, in his first tilt with the Royals, where the stars of tonight's game would be one David Drake was a star on the uh, well here he was named the star, and it was nice to see him get recognition just like Kirk Coach said because he doesn't really get all that recognition all the time because he doesn't put up all the points. But like Coach Kirk McDonald said in the post game, he's a guy that actually does a really good offensive instinct, good first pass, and just does everything you want to see done right. He's an anchor on your defense, I think is a perfect way to put it. Um, and then you saw Peyton Pritchard continue to carry the torch. He stayed hot. Jared Brandt was able to get his first goal, so hopefully that'll get him really going and churning like we know he can because he's been solid, but we know that there's a little bit more in that stick of his and that is something that I think will get him going and playing a more overall game. But this was a fantastic win for the Royals, a great game to close out the weekend and to head on to the road trip to Trois-Rivières, Quebec, to play three in a row up in Quebec. As Kirk McDonald said, it's going to be fun for the guys to be able to go and travel and be together on a road trip. So congratulations to the Royals for winning a great 2-1 to -one game. That was a mighty impressive game that hockey Pritchard and Drake, as well as the entire defense, just for keeping them to the outside the entire game, were definitely the stars of this tilt. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. I'll be back covering the team on December 11th as we're back home, and then I'm also doing stuff as an intern, too, so I might, I'll probably be doing stuff in the interim. Or the away games, as well as writing articles during the time that they're away. Not sure about game recaps while they're away, since I usually listen to the game more than I'm able to watch it on flow hockey, since I haven't been able to cough up 150 bucks to get there yet. But we'll see. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. And go Royals. Let's keep this hot streak going. Peace out, everybody. And stay safe, Royals fan.